Hi everyone, it's Mark from Abilities, and today we're going to be talking about dressing and specifically focusing on putting on a pair of pants as well as shoes. If you watched my earlier video on how to put on socks, you'll see that I still have my dress socks on, and this is because I'm showing you what I would do in the morning for getting ready for work, because I typically wear um, business attire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a pair of pants and kind of show you how I would put these on. Now, for some people, uh, dressing occurs in the bed, which I think makes sense. Uh, if you're able to have a bed that is you're comfortable in and you can sit upright in, you can do a lot of these things and practice them, right? Uh, being in your chair and doing a lot of this can be very hard, especially early on. But for me, I wanted to be able to do everything in my chair. I wanted to be independent in case if I had to change that I could do so. And just to give you a quick example, I had to go to physical therapy the other day and they wanted me to wear shorts because they were going to hook up some electrodes and do the FES bike. Now when I was done, because this was on a weekday, I had to go to work. So I put my pants back on. So because I can change in my chair, I was able to do that in my minivan and go on to work as opposed to having to come home and do it, which would have taken a lot more time. So it's just a thought, you know, as you get going in this and you might want to try doing it in your chair. I think it makes a lot of sense and it's good because again you're going to be working your core, figuring out you know how your body would work in the chair and this is going to help you with other things. Uh, not just dressing but maybe picking stuff up off the ground, you know maybe you're putting a heavy item in a book bag or you're leaning, it's, it's, it's all good stuff to kind of get comfortable in your chair because you're going to be using it most of the time. Uh, assuming you're in a manual or even a power chair, um, you want to make sure that you're comfortable in it. Okay, now what I'm going to do first. Uh, I'm just going to show you. The reason why I'm doing the shoes together with the pants is because in order to pull up my pants, I need to have uh, a good shoe on that's going to allow me some support so my legs don't fly out. I have really bad clonus in my feet, or well, I guess in my ankle, and in order to really do this appropriately, I need to have those shoes on. So first thing in putting on my pants, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lock my brakes, and I'm going to scoot out of my chair a little bit. Um, in order to get some more stability, uh, you know, when you have a little bit of a, a lean, like, like those quads do, it, uh, it gives you more balance and it's easier for me to, to do this process. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do now that I've scooted out is I'm going to cross my leg over. I'll put these down for a sec. Um, the easiest way for me to do this is to lift my knee straight up and turn it and literally cross it across my other leg. So the way that I would do that is I'm going to take the top part of my arm, or my hand here, and put it underneath my quad on the hamstring part. I'm going to put my hand behind my chair to kind of support myself. I'm going to go ahead and lift up. And as I'm doing it, I'll just kind of adjust my body in the most comfortable position. As I've done this, I'm going to release my arm, put my elbow down on my other leg, put the back of the top of my hand on the uh, back part of my, my uh, cap, go ahead and lift it up, and kind of turn. Now in doing this, it'll almost be like I've crossed my leg, you know, as if you were sitting in bed. I know a lot of people when they dress in bed, this is what they do, and it's great because it does add a little bit of stability and you're not fighting that. The other thing is I have a pretty good bucket in my chair, so I'm sitting at an angle already. So having this at an angle, I feel very comfortable. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab these pants. And for me, what I do, so I go ahead and get my hand in this side. Then I have the left leg. I'm going to slip it over my leg. Now, you'll see me push my leg down a little bit, and that's just to help it get in. Once I get the pant leg in a little bit, you're going to think, you know, you're going to wonder how I get it over this. So what I do is I put my hand underneath my foot, lift my leg up, and kind of guide it. Get it over the knee, pushing my knee, so it's, the pant leg's coming down. Now I'm going to use these parts of my wrist kind of pinch and pull this guy up. Oh, got a little bit of clonus going on there. Okay, same thing. Left side, right side. And just kind of pull it up until you get it up your leg. Now if you have, you know, hands like this where they kind of make a, like a claw, that's helpful to be able to kind of pull the paneling up. Again, I'm going to lift, slide it down, pull this guy over. Now I've got my foot exposed. 
the next thing that I would do would be to put on my shoe. Now with the shoes that I have, these are slip-ons. Um, these are slip-on dress shoes. They can be a little bit difficult to use, especially when they're new, because you've got to break them in. Uh, but a shoehorn or something, you, you can find something that you could adapt to make it work. But for me, I'll show you how I use my wheel and my knee in order to put the shoe on. So I'm going to go ahead, I, I can get my hand in here and the thumb so it's pretty sturdy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and slide it over the end. And once it's on my foot, I'm going to use the back part of my hand, get it in the shoe, kind of pull up. Now, I have the shoe, I have my fingers in the shoe like a shoehorn. I got my heel right here, my shoe is on, on the wheel. I'm going to take my knee, and I'm going to go ahead and push. And as I do this, and as I pull, the shoe comes on, and we're good to go. Now this took a little while, as I said, I had to break them in, um, but you know, this would work, and then you don't have to deal with the laces, because I know laces can be a problem. So now I'm going to lift this up, I'm just going to let my leg down, put it on my foot plate, take my pants, and I'm just going to adjust them a little bit, so they're in the right position. I'm going to take this, flip this pant leg over to the other side, now I've got one on. I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the other guy. I'm going to put my the top of my wrist, my hand, underneath on my hamstring. I'm going to grab the back of my chair. Lift this guy. I'm going to adjust my body as I'm doing this. Got my own brakes. Hand behind my leg. Lift up. Pull it over. I'm doing this, kind of readjust. And now my leg's kind of twitching a little bit. Okay. And as you're doing this, you may want to just adjust your sock if it's pulling down a little bit and it feels uncomfortable. All right, so leg cross, we can go to start with the next piece. Now, I have the pant leg underneath, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this leg, I'm gonna lift it up, pull this out, all right? Kind of readjust again, get this pant leg over, kind of feed the foot into it, lift it up, get underneath it, just kind of guide it. Now this is where the belt loops, or the belt loops come in handy. You can go ahead and push. Once you get it over your leg, again, slide it up. Actually, you want to do it in the reverse with the thumb like this. And slide this up like this. Then you take those parts of your hands, just kind of inch it up. You want to wet your palms a little bit as you're doing it. That will help make it a little bit more grippy. Okay, I'm going to lift this leg up. Slide the pant leg over. Again, kind of pull this. This isn't going to pull as easy on this side because now you've got one leg on, so it's really you're kind of turning with the leg. All right, this leg's ready to go, or this foot's ready to go. Grab my shoe. I grab this one a little bit different. You may do each side slightly different depending on how well you know your hand function is, you know your core. I still don't understand why, but when I do this, it's kind of like autopilot. But when I sit here and look at it as I'm doing it for you, I notice that I do it a little bit different on each hand. So here we go, slide this on, use the back of my hand. I'm going to put this on the wheel, push my foot down, slide this one in, good to go. Let that guy go down. Okay, so now we've got the pants in position. Now before I do this, I just want to mention one other thing. Uh, when I'm on the weekends, the shoes that I typically wear would be um, this kind of skate variety. So this is, a, this is a DC shoe. The reason I like these is because they have a lot of padding in the ankle. And for someone that has a lot of bouncy clonus, if you're not taking um, you know, the, the baclofen and you're having this issue, these are great. Uh, I like what they provide. Um, I mean, I kind of grew up wearing these type of shoes anyway, but I do like them. They're comfortable and I don't have the bounciness that I typically have, um, you know, in a, like a thinner, like a, something that doesn't have as much padding. Okay. Now, the reason I want to have my shoes on is because one of the aspects that I like um, about my chair is, I have it, I'm going to back up a little bit so you can, well, I guess I can't really back up. Um, one of the aspects that I like is that when I'm pulling my pants up, my feet are actually going to be able to touch the ground with my foot plate. And that way they kind of dig into the ground so I'm trying to pull them up. I'm not sliding out of my chair. So I'll show you what I do. The other thing is my chair is not very deep. I have a 15 inch depth in my chair. So the back of my knee to where the seat slang begins is probably a good 
I don't know, maybe three or four inches, depending on where I, how much I've scooted out of my chair. That will allow for the pants to come up easier as well, because you're not having to pull them beyond your legs, you know, a very long distance. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands in here, and I'm kind of just work them like this and try to work the back part of it up underneath so I have less, you know, grabbing to do. Now I'm going to be using the back side of my hand again, kind of like a claw. I'm going to work it in here, get that in. Now I'm just going to lean to the side and just pull and lift. And as I do that, I have my hand in there, my hand's pushed up against the wheel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lean up with my shoulder and pull back a little bit. And by doing that, I pulled the pants up a little bit on this side. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. I'm going to lean a little bit, kind of pull these up first, a little bit. Now my hand's on the wheel, it's backwards, lift up, pull. All right. And by doing that, I have my pants up a little bit. If the pants get a little bit cockeyed, what I recommend is just put your, put your arm in here and just kind of lean up and adjust them. You're going to find over time that strong belt loops and strong pockets are really great um, for a quad in a manual chair or even in bed. You know, those pockets are going to allow you to sit up and the belt loops are going to allow you to pull your pants or straighten them, do those kind of things. All right, now I'm going to go back and just repeat the same thing. Keep going here until I get these up. Now this side's a little bit tight, so I may, since I, since I can't get to the pocket, I'll just go ahead and do that and adjust. Go back to this guy. Now when I get to a certain point where they're up, I'm not reversing and lifting up. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting my arm in, reversing and pushing backwards. So if I can stabilize my body, but get it up enough to where I can slide it back with my hand, so I'll show you again. I'm going to be taking this and just pushing it back as I do it. Same on this side. I'm going to go ahead and push it back. Now, you may not have a whole lot of balance. You may not be super comfortable in your chair. I would say if you're going to try it in your chair, do little, you know, do little bits and pieces of trying to adjust and shift and get your pants up. And I think over time, you'll get to a point where you're comfortable. Now my pants are pretty much up, but there's this final step that I like to do, and it's because I like to have my pants up really high. I probably could um, work with what I have, but my, my pants in the back are still down a little bit. So what I do is I scoot out a little bit more, and I'm going to grab my belt loop, grab my chair, and as I do that, I'm just going to pull slightly. And as I do this, it's pulling my pants up. Now I'm going to take my index finger in the back and I'm going to run it through my belt loop. Once I have that, hand in the pocket, lift up, pull the pants, and then just kind of scoot my butt down really slow. You don't want to go fast. You know, I, I know that there's a, the fear of probably shearing your skin. So you want to go slow. I can feel my skin, so I know I'm not causing any harm, but it is a concern. Do it slow, test it out. Now at this point, I have my pants up enough so I can button them. I have a ring on my zipper, so I don't have to use a zipper pull. I'm going to put my thumb in the bottom, just so that way I can do this fast. And then, if I have this belt loop, you can see I got the double, um, these hooks. I'll just take this part, pull it over, take this, adjust it, voila, got the pants on. Now, if you're scooted out like I am and you can't really just pop back, um, you can do a number of things. Grab a belt loop, pockets again, you want to have a sturdy. I will lean, put on this arm, and then just kind of slowly come back. And that's pretty much the idea. I might wet my palms here and just try and pull these down. Depending on the type of dress pant or pant you're wearing, they may ride up uh, during this process. It's really <laughs> up to you how you want to look and how you want to feel. But I tend to, uh, you know, I'll just kind of work them down. But that's the idea, uh, pulling up the pants. All pants are going to be different and they feel, um, you know, some are going to be easy, some are going to be hard. Jeans can be problematic just because they're really stiff. They might not allow you to grab the back as well. Um, I wear a lot of Dickies work pants. Those ones, the belt loops and, and pockets are really strong, but those can be hard to pull up. I do like them though because uh, they last forever and they're, you know, pretty relatively inexpensive. 
So that's all I have for the pants uh, video, but thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to the Abilities channel. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter. And if you have any comments or questions, you know, send me a private message or leave a comment below. Uh, if there's something you want to see, I'll try and, and put it out there. And yeah, thanks for joining me. Keep working hard towards your independence, and I'll see you soon.